Well, I think the crisis changed um, the IMF in, in at least two ways. Uh, one is that it forced the IMF to think differently about the way it operates. Namely, the past framework was uh, an IMF that lent to a country that were undergoing balance of payment crisis against strict conditionality. This has evolved now through the crisis, through the creation of new instruments that completely changed the way the IMF uh, interacts or, or try to fight financial crisis and give, them, and give the IMF a role, a preemptive role. This is something quite fundamental and it's a fundamental shift that we tend to forget now because we take it for granted, but for the IMF it was a real overhaul. The second uh, thing that the IMF, uh, that the crisis has changed for the IMF is a real shift in the balance of power. This was, of course, somewhat of a secular shift that we've observed over the last decade, but was really precipitated, precipitated with the crisis. And now emerging economies will need to play a bigger role in, in, in the governance of the IMF. There are basically two major avenues uh, to achieve that. Uh, on one hand is the changes within the executive board. So there are some slow changes. Uh, we can hope that over time uh, those changes will will, will become uh, more evident and in particular will also not only stay within the executive board but reach the top and potentially change the management the management uh, the, uh, of the fund and in particular the, the, the post of the managing director which has historically been a job for, for a European policymaker. The other uh, part that is currently changing is um, the quotas which is an important uh, an essential voting system within the fund and which gives different weights to different countries. This is something that has started to evolve since 2006 really but has been accelerated through the crisis and which now will definitely uh, change in, in an accelerated fashion. The fact that the IMF now needs to play a role not only in poor or emerging countries but also in advanced economies and in Europe in particular will make the need for resources from emerging economies even bigger and will be as a result of that uh, traded against a more space for, uh, for, for governance uh, from, uh, from those very emerging economies.